So I wasn't sure whether to do this video because I didn't want to piss people off, especially when a lot of the people I know are in the L, L, I can't even, I can't even, you know the whole what's it community. So I wasn't sure whether to do this video, but then I was like, oh my God, Kathleen Jenner. Okay, I've never agreed so hard on a Kardashian family. I know technically she's not Kardashian, but I've never agreed so much mm -hmm. like with like a personality person that so that kind of you know, that kind of person who kinda of got famous for not well actually, no, it wasn't wasn't she a curriculum she was a sportsman, wasn't she? I don't know. I don't really know much about the about the family and everything, but basically she's opposed to um transgender girls in sports and this whole situation and everything like that so basically um from what i before i heard um about this sort of thing like kicking off in america things were happening in basically because i watched joe rogan sometimes and there were situations where um this comes with fighting obviously the difference between a trans girl fight a uh, racing is different to fighting because obviously I say racing, like that, <laughs> racing, <laughs> but you know, any other sport, I was thinking about running, but I just said racing, is, but it, it is, they have a competitive edge, obviously, um, I'll explain the situation, I'll explain in detail why I agree with her, um, which is different between fighting, so obviously it's like physically, anyway, but there was situations where they weren't it, it was a thing where they didn't have to declare that they used to be male I think one situation happened where she didn't tell her opponent or something or another that she was trans and she beat the shit out of her because it was a male but anyway, you know what I mean um so before we get underway I think fighting's definitely a no-no for obvious reasons but yeah um so anyway so the obvious thing <sighs> So we've got fighting out of the way. Let's just stick to sport to um um to normal sports. So basically there's a reason why there's male and female sports, and that is because a male is superior when it comes to sports. And I've put in you're probably thinking, why is a female saying something like that? Because it's true. It it's just true. Like you will have their rare rare occasions where a female can um you know, not superior, but the sort of same sort of strength or what, whatever sport it is, um, about the same level, but that's kind of rare. And that's without like, obviously with them having help with like testosterone and stuff like that, it is rare. But in general, we all know that men are, they're just better built for stuff like that than females. Um, because if you think about it, the males, I know this is going back years and years and the time where it's kind of, cavemen and stuff but the males were the providers so they'd go out hunting and all this sort of stuff where the females stayed, stayed at home and did you know that obviously that's not the same thing because females go to work now but you get the whole thing that's how kind of how biology like started if that's the right sentence the men were there they're, they're built for kind of you know for strength and for you know the physical up to upper I can't even say that word why do I keep trying to say words I can't say <laughs> <laughs> basically they're physically more um you know they can they can tackle more stuff than female if that makes any sense I, i'm really bad at explaining stuff, so but yeah so the reason why there's a male and female is because if there wasn't the feet there would be no female sports like the females would just be imagine if they weren't though and you all had all the same sexes just like racing like racing why do I keep saying racing running swimming that sort of thing the field would have just given up and it was just it would just be a male dominated sport male dominating in sports so that's the reason why now the argument so some so obviously when uh my uh when a man obviously goes through um you know trans and stuff they take they'll take uh estrogen so estrogen is the stuff that gives you like breasts and that sort of thing um so so that's why a female has more estrogen than um testosterone but you know the levels and everything that's just another that's another story but anyway i'm not really into this paragraph biology and stuff like that just because of taking estrogen it doesn't mean 
that their hormones, the male testosterone is going to go down dramatically. Um, the only way which I would say it make a difference is if the person is transitioning before puberty. Um, that argument though is they shouldn't be doing it anyway because it's a confusing age and there's been times where they've trans where they've kind of they've ended up suing doctors i'm not sure if it's over here but in other maybe america where they've actually sued doctors saying they shouldn't have because i was confused in that because when you grow up your hormones are all over the place to be honest with you and um obviously it's better to make such a bold decision when you're you know when you're older and you know everything's all settled hormones and stuff but anyway that's the only way you'd get around with having sort of not too many you know hormones and stuff hormones not too many testosterone in the body um but people obviously try uh, going through the whole process after after um after um after puberty there's no you can't just er- just erase the the testosterone it that's not how it works they're still going to be built like blokes you know is even if you've done all the plastic surgery and stuff and everything and they look female some of them don't some of them still look butch because you know it depends on how what your bill was before but either way you, it just doesn't work like that just because you've taken estrogen your testosterone's not going to completely disappear you're already built like a bloke in that sense and this is a thing i want to point out as well it's always the men or the trans girl should i say or trans woman it's always them that argue it you'll never see a trans man you know, arguing, well, not arguing, for them to compete with males, even after taking, a, again, it's the same thing, Reverse if you reverse it round, they're still not going to have enough testosterone to to kind of compete with blokes. And there's been stories where trans, transgender males have still competed with females, which you can do as long as, because um, obviously each, each sport, so has a certain amount of levels of testosterone or whatever which make it you know you were able to compete it's like that woman you remember that woman and and there was (laughs) okay so you remember that woman I remember this argument it made me laugh so much so (laughs) you remember that woman I felt so sorry for her she won a race I can't remember her name now she's black she won a race but she had a genetic sort of thing where she had more she had more testosterone than a normal female and there's obviously there was a cutoff for this particular competition and obviously she ended up getting stripped and people were annoyed and stuff like that but rules are rules that sort of thing um and someone compared I felt sorry for her because he, she wouldn't even be able to compete with males because she wouldn't yeah she's got higher testosterone than a normal female but it wouldn't be high enough for it to be able to compete with a man to make with the men's to make it kind of even she would have she would have she wouldn't have come close but some argument was comparing it okay so there's a swimmer I don't know his name but apparently it's this basically he doesn't produce um the normal amount of lactic acid, lactic acid that a normal athlete produces. So if you don't know what lactic acid is, it's basically the stuff that comes when... Basically, I don't want to go into too much detail, but when you... You know the stuff when, say, for example, you're doing a run and you're, you're running and your muscles start to get really sore. Basically, lactic acid comes... It, it's... Well, whatever. Either way, <laughs> sore muscles. And the argument was like, why is he still allowed to compete? The reason so is because you can train your body to push through lactic acid and to still perform through through lactic acid. You can't you can't suddenly get a female to be able to, you know, produce more testosterone naturally. <laughs> so I thought that argument was stupid. But anyway, that is basically it. That are basically the reasons why it's it's not one, it's unfair. I mean, unless the someone said the only way to make it a little bit fair, but even then, it they'll be like, well, why should I do, I'm, I'm 
class myself as female I don't want to fight I don't want to um, I don't want to compete with ch- just trans girls. We're not just trans. We we class ourselves as being female, you know that sort of thing. Is to kind of have the trans females, you know, compete with each other, and the trans males compete with each other. But we all know they're not going to they're not going to agree agree to that. I mean, the trans men might, but the trans females aren't. Um, I don't know. I've always found it's the trans females that always kick off than the trans men's because they they know, they know obviously, you know, for them to compete anyway. I mean, they can if they want to, if a trans man wants to compete, but they don't because they know that the men still have, yeah, they've taken um, just less the road, but they know they're not going to compete they know they're gonna have no chance so they just don't go, go competing at all but as I said there's been incidents where they've still competed with females which is fine as long as their testosterone isn't too high um but yeah so <laughs> take it as you will I mean it's one of those things where if people say you know they're happy for it then fine but I mean, and would you be happy to be fat? To to I keep bringing up fighting because I still can't get over it. That one's the one because that one's just freaking dangerous. That one's just not even that. That's just plain dangerous. But you know what I mean? Would you Would you be happy if you were in a race and then you came second, but then you find out later on the winner was a trans girl? Would you be happy with that? Or you know what I mean? Or you were in a you're in a MMA fight you got completely beaten up, <laughs> you know what I mean, you lost, and then later on to find out that she didn't even bother telling you that she was trans, so it's kind of one of those things where if you, you know, it's just, you're not, it's just, I can understand, like, I can sort of understand, because they want to still fit in and everything, and they see themselves as either female, as and they see themselves as female, but, there's a limit you've got to understand by a lot by by how biology works and how the human body works and there's limits you know what I mean like I can understand how they feel because they don't want to be sort of they consider themselves as female so they may think well why why shouldn't I compete with other females I consider my females but they need to realize like yeah you can identify as a female but but you've got to look at biology and biology unfortunately is is telling you otherwise and you know that that's pretty much it for this video so bye guys